This is an urgent message from the Ministry of Silly Talk. Please stay tuned for further instructions. Folks, head on over to shirtcaviar.com. We got a wide selection of shirts for every occasion. We got a Chi Chi Get the Yayo. We got a F Them Kids, a perfect and amazing holiday stocking stuffer. We got Disrespect the Rich. We got anything as possible. We got Rose Headed Ho with caviar on the side. And we have one of the most popular summer shirts, the Beach Please. All of these and more at shirtcaviar.com. And make sure you use code OGA for 10% off your order. Welcome. Welcome. One, one, one gray. Welcome to the One Grand Marmy Podcast. Thank you for listening to my daddy's stupid podcast. And remember, his head is full of doo doo, so don't listen to anything he says. Okay, well, yeah, because we're recording. Actually, I've been meant to mention this, so this would yes. be a good way to just really, like, uh, hammer, ham fist this in. Is so. Yeah, it's anybody who d- helps or does stuff with the podcast and all the listeners. It's all of our podcast, right? The yeah. the One Gram Army is a play on words that doesn't quite work for everybody, but it was started out because when I was doing the sports podcast, I would be in here talking to myself like, "Yeah, I'm a one man army," you know, like one man army, guns can't harm me. Yeah, but I'm the, so it became the One Gram Army, and so regardless of how many people were it, it could be involved whatever there could be 20 people in here that's the army there's still only one gram i mean provide i mean look if we meet a cool guy named graham we gotta we'll, we'll work on it but you know what if his name is graham i don't want it I, he's not allowed in my home Graham. <laughs> You're not allowed in my home. Graham. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't want that. Yeah. Well, I, shit. We. You know, that's American name Graham. Is it one Graham on me, or or are you American? I'm, I'm supposed to be saying Graham. Yeah. See, it's come up before. Yeah. Uh, it happens. Yeah. Uh, but I did want to mention that though. Yeah. I don't. You shouldn't feel any lack of ownership or anything. I. You know. Eventually, I'll come up with stuff for us to do. We just got to get it like. Get off the ground. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm enjoying myself in my... uh, That's the most important part. You got to think about it. And I get really good feedback from one of my best friends in the world and my little brother, Mikey. So we must be doing good. We're doing the right thing. Apparently, every episode is better than the previous. No, we've done really well in that. And it's actually starting to make me nervous. I don't want to hear things like that because it puts the pressure on me. No, and and, and, uh, all the feedback that I've got is either that's funny or... Easy to listen to. Yeah, it shouldn't be. And I don't have yeah. any interest, and I've never had any interest. I don't want in, anything that's not easy. No, yeah. and I don't, yeah, I've never had any interest in being like, you know what I need is a platform where I can tell people my dumbass ideas on how <laughs> things work or yeah. what's going on and what people I should be doing. I understand everything. Yeah. Just listen. <laughs> no, never, uh, never I, been my yeah. goal. Um, but yes. Welcome to the One Graham Army Podcast. It's the One Graham Army Podcast, and Josh, like, Josh is here. He's part of the Army, and there's just is a Graham. That's it. That's it. Um, We're back. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, and I've, I've put my feelers out with my known three listeners that I have. That's right. We're growing. Tell your friends, your wives. Mm-hmm. That's your camera. You can talk right into it. You can point your right friends, at them. Your wives. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bailey, your friends. Yeah. All of them need to subscribe. They don't have to listen. Just they need to, to subscribe. Yeah. And, and comment. To, yeah. Funny. Yeah. Say anything. Ah. Yeah. But, yeah. So we remembered to do that. I'm 300-something episodes into having a YouTube channel, and uh, I just remembered to start the videos with like, comment, and subscribe. What's number? The hotline? All right. I got gotcha. you. Sorry. Yeah, and I'm about to say the hotline number. He's going to have it scrolling at some point. It's, Use it. it's on every video. Yeah, there you go. It's That's on every video. 847-665-9238. Send us a text, something dumb, a picture, a thought. We don't care. Hey, you're, you're idiots. Stop. Yeah. Or, hey, continue on. We love you. Whatever it is. It could be anything. Anything. Just send it to the hotline. Even if you want to text me personally, 
Just send it to the hotline. No, it's the best way to go about it. Yeah, because then we uh, can, you know, anything you see that's funny, ridiculous, not funny, you want to vent about something. Yep, it's available, and we'll be right here. If you're walking around somewhere and something happens and it's like, <laughs> text the hotline. Yep. No one else gives a shit, but you know what? We give a shit. Yeah, and text it's the hotline. You can get involved here. If you don't like what we're doing, you can help make it better by calling the hotline at 847 uh. Nine two three eight. Enjoy that one, everybody. Ah, the French. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, let me show you this video real quick. Um, okay. Well, see what happened. Suno went down. Our AI music system definitely cannot be going down. <laughs> Did the website go down? Did did copyright infringement finally? Oh, and at the end of every episode, I want to reiterate that we do have a song that's generated by Sono and us and on the topics that were talked about in the episode, and they usually are really good, and they, we try to put them on the playlist. Yeah, I've sent some of the subscribers that I'm aware of. Yeah, but if you go, yeah, if you yeah. at the end of every episode, we have a lovely AI generated song that is just sort of the mishmash of all the stuff we discussed in the episode. And if you go to the YouTube channel, the first link in the show notes will take you directly to the playlist. And the funny thing about this, and also scary, is that it plays on your phone like a, like you're listening to Spotify or something. And it's just a playlist, and it pops up right on your phone. You click that link in the YouTube video. Yeah, you can listen to it on the right way up. home from yeah. work, to work, at yeah. work, with your friends, having beers. Yeah. you know. And also, if you have any ideas for prompts that can come out with some ridiculous stuff. Yeah. Give, give us a prompt. Give us a style. Yeah. And it could and be about someone you know that you specifically yeah, are looking if for. It's, yeah. Let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. In that vein, um, this has been really fun getting the podcast off the ground here, but I'm going to start with something you're not going to like. Um, okay, let's go. Now that you're not going to like it, but it is off-putting, but I can't not share it now that we're down the AI rabbit hole. Because we all saw that last week that I cloned my voice. Well, it turns out the AI music generator has an option to upload your voice to like this. So this is just like a clip. Um, I'm not really sure what that means anymore. This is just we a, are limping. Else this is just 59 it. seconds of me talking on a podcast. A okay. So before I play this, I want you to know that it does a very strange thing at the beginning, like right before the thing starts happening. Where it's just my voice, but it's like a random collection of sounds. It's like it's warming up. It's like... And then it does this thing. All right. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. I were great. Clouds above so gray, but we don't hide away. No way. Drops yeah, fall, dude. but we stay. <laughs> Laugh and shout hooray, <laughs> feet splash in the street, puddles no beneath way, our feet. Man. It's just my voice, I didn't sing Can to it. You feel the beat? It just made Hard my voice sing. Dancing in the rain, joy without dude, a change. It's creepy, dude. It's super Skipping creepy. The pain loves the old. I don't like it. No, it's <sighs> insanely creepy. Right. It's glads of both so great when we don't hide. Liberty. Clouds of both so great, but we don't hide. Away. And it's to someone else. No, this is Drops still supposed fall, to be my voice. But we stay laughing, shout hooray. Feed. That one's cleaner. Yeah, but anyway, a lot of the other ones, they fell apart. But really, the one that really is like. <laughs> that shit is so off putting. Yeah. It's so insane. Look at the picture for the fucking uh, song. Yeah, there. no, it's it's none of that, and that's AI. The whole it's just making the whole thing. Yeah, no, I get it. It it's just, just spits ridiculous. it right out. It's how quickly it does it too. What twelve seconds or something stupid? Like, yeah. Uh, in the spots. But sometimes, sometimes it gives you gold. Sometimes it gives you a really something brilliant. The Grammys on display, all eyes on me. My moment to shine, 
Something is right. How did it literally make the perfect song about yeah. shitting your pants in the ground? <laughs> It's not possible for it to nail it any harder. My heart begins to race, but little did I know. <laughs> <This is>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good. I love it too. It's in my head all week. I think about it so much. Every verse kind of gets its own day. Music stars to play. Oh yeah, if you're new here, this was a song that we AI generated that Josh had the idea. It was a prompt. It was an 80s power ballad about shitting your pants at the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's maybe the most perfect thing that's no, ever existed. Yeah. My cheeks hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, no, my neck hurt. started as a whisper, now becomes a painful threat. Streets of regret down my white pants. Church. Oh, how I wish I could forget beneath the glitz and black. Bring it home. My secrets for the show. Streaks of regret hiding <laughs> inside. It's Grammy night. But in the end, I laugh it off because I'm a messy fight. He laughs it off because life's a messy fight. It is. I'm not disputing. Way she goes, boys. Oh, yeah, I shit my pants at the Grammys, bitch. I was getting a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, at the end, he's like, this is horrific, but yeah, y'all got to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. I want to see something here. I'm sorry. Can we do more of this song? <laughs> Why isn't it pulling up my extend option? Oh, come on. Do it. I'll create. I'm gonna do it from. City. Nah, nah, nah. That one's not as good. I need to go back to. Their website's having a little trouble. We'll have to let that cool off and see what happens because it's like not responding. Huh. Wonder what that's about. There better not be a local internet issue. ISP. I got important work to do here. Uh But yeah, all of that's quite uh horrific in the interim before we get back to that and we will get back to that. okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will get back when that site starts running a little bit better we're going to uh extend that song because nice. it needs it deserves a box set uh, yeah why not <laughs> you know what i mean Ooh, a um, box set yeah i'll well, show you i wonder if we could just do 80s rock ballads about shitting your pants at different award shows like you know the yeah kids, kids choice awards tony's the, the tony's yeah. all of them you know what I mean? Yeah, you create. Yeah, you create the band. I we could do a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, and it is weird. It's weird. It's kind of a niche market, but we really hit a home run with that one. It's just wasn't there a thing when you were younger though, where you sort of assumed that you would reach an age where poop and fart jokes wouldn't be so funny? But this, there's a bazillion dollars of the most advanced technology in the world at our disposal and literally the best and i'm not saying we shouldn't be doing it bro the- every time you put poop in one of those songs <laughs> it's great it's gold why is it like that <laughs> why does that exist why like, is it like that it's so but it's just so serious how it it sings it so seriously. Yeah. Like, uh, you put poop in there. Yeah, it's just it's like just David Lee Roth was like, fuck it. I got streaks of regret. Let's <laughs> yeah. go. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. just going in. If you just didn't have an ego about it, yeah. you could have written that song. Because I'm well, sure it's then, happened. He said, but I laugh it off. Because mm-hmm. life's a messy fight. <laughs> so, no ego. None. Like I said, He's the one winning the Grammy, performing on stage with the streaks of regret. Your ass is at home. And you know what else he got out of the deal? A hit fucking record. Streaks <laughs> of regret down my white pants. I mean, you tell, make a lemons out of lemonade made up fucking AI guy. <laughs> you killed it. That guy's, whoever that is, one of my favorite artists of all time. <laughs> White Jesus. pants McGillicuddy fucking had a great run there. Getting um, it in. It's like the um, the Bud Light uh, Men of Genius. Remember that show? Those were so good. God, I love those. Those were really 
That was a real band that did this shit. Yeah, dude, that shit was brilliant. Yeah, that guy singing is like Gary Glitter or somebody. Like, it's one of those guys. No, he was like in Foreigner or something. Yeah, 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 he's one of those guys. Um, That shit. God, those were good. Oh, man. They had the one about the taco salad, like. The only 12,000 calories. Look, man, look, so I need you to level with me. Are we about to watch a bunch of fucking real men and right now? <laughs> we can if you want. Or let's watch what you had and then we'll Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Man. If it yeah. comes up and still yeah, seems yeah. like a good idea. Because yeah, yeah. like, I'm like, I don't know what kind of content that is, but I really want to do it. I want to see it live. Right now. But yeah, real well, man and yeah. Well, because this oddly is slightly less disjointed than most of what happens around here, but the um, all this AI and like you know our reactions to it, and like you know how we're completely fucked in every way. People, uh, oh yeah, yeah, no, I got something coming up there for okay. you. Um, excuse me. The uh, people have reacted to technology that way for a very long time, and I have this really old video I'm going to show you. This is the phone company put out this film or strip or whatever that they played in towns everywhere, like before movies, because, you know, you had to, like, get to people. I'm assuming they probably played it on TV some places. I can't imagine how prevalent TV was, but this video is introducing a radical new piece of technology that's going to change everyone's lives, and they had to literally put out this highly produced video in order to get people to understand the shit that they were about to witness and so if you think about it then it is what it is you don't know what the future holds yeah and this is this is like what's happening with ai now except nobody is telling us what's yeah, going on no or how PSA. it works or any yeah, of that there's, there's no none of PSA. that they had the the foresight to do this then Dial comes to town. Oh, because before you just picked it up and went to an operator. Yeah, so this is the introduction of a phone that dials. Wow, the production value. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, hello, right? Charlie. What's new today? Oh, same old thing, I guess. Here's a paper if you want it, Dad. Good, I was wondering where that doggone kid was. Where's Mom, Jeannie? Starting supper. I'm going to help her as soon as I finish this algebra problem. You won't need that, sweetheart. No, Jenny. <laughs> algebra. Algebra. Go help your mom with supper. I don't okay. think that's legal. You know what it says here? Here, I'll tell you. They're going to take out all our phones and put in them kind with dials on them. Oh, Graham, that's yummy. Does it say how soon? Yummy. Two weeks, I guess. Interesting that slang. Super. Yeah. Super. Oh, sure. What did you say, Graham? I said, oh, sure. As soon as a man gets used to one thing, by golly, somebody wants to take it away from him. Good grant. We've had that old phone since, well, I bet since Daddy was a boy. We ought to be glad to have modern telephones. Oh, shucks. Oh, whenever we're watching stuff, if you ever want to pause and interject or whatever, you're more than welcome. No, I'm just kind of... It's a little bit, it's a mind melt a Yeah, it's bit, weird because right? it's like an episode of television. Right, but it's and it's also crazy, like the attention span of people back then. Yeah, <laughs> you youngins are never satisfied these days. Uh, Folks are getting more worried about being modern than they are over the three square meals. I'm going to call up Ed Huckster there and find out what he thinks about all Ed this Huxley. business. <laughs> Give me a three, four, four, J. Thank you kindly. Don't talk too long, Graham. Stuff will be ready in a few minutes. Never that was how you did it. Ain't gonna start now. All That's right. wild, right? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Ed? I say, is this Ed Hochstetter talking? Huh? Well, get along close to your phone. Ain't gonna bite you, Ed. What say? Can't you hear me? I was talking about the uh, aeroplane skywriting. Doing all kinds of tricks. Right over town. 
I think we're getting, we're getting down in the weeds here a little bit. But it's, how long is the video? It's a 17 it's only, minute It's only video. 17 minutes, yeah, but Jeez. I'm saying that. Like, Oh yeah, no, this is a case study, baby. This is a history lesson. We're really, I'm really going deep. Yeah, no, I'm really uh, pulling the air out of this. I just, this is fascinating, though. But here, so these guys, their reactions. I just wanted to kind of. Prove yeah, so they literally made an episode of television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole time, everybody. New construction going on. You'll go down there every day if he can and tell him how to do it. <laughs> From what I hear, they're planning to hold some meetings around town later on. What kind of meetings, Charlie? Oh, to tell folks all about the new system, how it works and everything. What's interesting, too, though, is this could easily be an old horror movie where they have the meetings and it's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm sure people, you know, weren't like... We're ch Look, okay, so I'll check this out. <laughs> this is the time. I wouldn't go to a meeting if they had a meeting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if they held a meeting about AI, I'd be like... I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. It would give you something to do, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Your options of stuff to do, like, if they're like, oh, yeah, they're having a meeting down at Town Hall because we're getting these new phones. That was the only way to find out about what was going on. No, true. True enough. You know, I like this guy. It won't be long now until your no-dial telephones are ready to serve you. And I know you're as glad as I am that we're going to have an as up-to-date telephone system here as any in America. You're now, shaking the camera. most of you are acquainted with what a yeah. dial telephone looks like because nearly all of the installations have been made in your homes. But lots of other work has been going on around town too, as you've probably noticed. The wiring that runs to your homes has been checked. I don't know what he was checking there. I do want to point this out, though. You know what's interesting is you, if you look at videos and shit from the past, everyone who had a job had, like, a uniform for that job. Yeah, and it was specific. Yeah, like, yeah. it was like the garbage men wore a uniform. You're the mailman, the milkman, yeah. you know what I'm saying? These guys, like, they are work for the phone company, so they have these uniforms. New pole lines work. have been put up. And new cable has been pulled into place. Things were happening behind the scenes, too. In fact, the planning and the work on your new dial system has been underway for some time. A good many months ago, our engineers drew up the plans for the new equipment. I'd also like to point out these motherfuckers did that shit with pencils and paper and math problems. Yeah. And, like, parabolas Knowledge. and understanding how cables yeah. hang and the materials required. Like, yeah. No, that's it. The Industrial Revolution is so uh, such an impressive yeah. time. We put fucking people on the moon with a pen and a piece of it paper. It was built to these and a bunch of little fucking relays. Like, 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 yeah. <laughs> Telephone equipment is pretty much standard throughout the whole Bell system, but each community has its own telephone needs. And all this shit and you're seeing is all in, must be built in your to little box you carry out of your pocket now. Not only yeah. for today, <laughs> it's all but for years and chemical to come. Reactions. Sometimes That's new creepy buildings are required to hold evolved, the dial uh, equipment. And, and to think about how not in that long cases, ago. Not that long ago. Not that long ago. In my lifetime, for sure, like in my late life as an adult, phones have grown from something you had that was a luxury kind of cool thing, new thing. Yeah, I want it. Yeah, to, well, look, uh, so this this hot piece of ace here is about to explain to everybody in town how to work their dial. See that big thing? It's oh. like, dude, I know for sure, because I did, I know for sure you knew somebody had a phone oh, that worked. My grandma What's the first yeah. thing yeah. you do? Take up your receiver and listen for the dial tone. Here's how it sounds. I'm glad they fixed that. Yeah, yeah that was a good change. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, God, whoever, whoever worked at Bell's system. I was like, like that's pretty aggressive. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Telling you that it's ready to put through your call. As Mr. Johnson pointed out, it's the same as an operator saying, number please. If you don't hear the dial tone within a reason. That's a great twist of line, though, where he's talking about some broad, and he's like, and I left it on the line with the tone, got up with this other bitch, bought, bought, bought my weed because I'm firing up my own, but when he says I left her on the line with the tone, like he hung up on yeah. that. <laughs> like, that's a great line. Well, I also <laughs> like when he says, I'm going to start squeezing knees. No, we can't get into that. That's too, <laughs> it's too obscure. I have, We will plan that ahead of time. Okay. We'll get into squeezing knees. <laughs> I thought that's what he said. Square, square, square. Square, 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 square. Wait a few square, seconds square. and then try again. As 
soon as you hear the dial tone. Let's say that she's going to teach him how to dial. You're ready to dial the number you want. But before we do that, let's examine the dial itself for a moment. Get to it. When you operate the dial, mm. bringing it around to the finger stop, and then release it, an electrical code message is sent to the automatic equipment in the central office. That shit was fucking brilliant. Of course. You'll get some idea of what happens over at the central office. Well, the thing is, we couldn't have any of the stuff we don't have now without the previous the shit. Yeah, you know. Equipment. Well, and every For new example, thing is crazy, but this seems like one of those innovations that's like, you know, like the wheel. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the ability to dial a phone. A private person. And yeah. Not everyone know who you're talking to. Well, and again, too, this is automation taking people's jobs. It's been going on since time immemorial because now you don't need a building full of operators. Mm, you need someone who can maintain the equipment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like a few operators for people who call the operator looking for a number. Yeah, which is, I did that before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember Google? Remember? Yeah, because remember we used to use 411. And then yeah. do you remember 1-800-GOOGLE-411? When Google, I do not. Google at one point briefly had a a free 411 service. Like you would dial 800-GOOG-411 and you could use 411 for free. I don't know that. Yeah, and it was real weird, too, because, it, well, it reminds me of that. When I played you that sound of me singing, but for some reason there's that weird, like, yeah, that weird anomaly there. When you would use Goog 411, you'd be like, All right, give me the number of this pizza place or whatever. It would go, you could, there was like an audible sound in the background going like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then it would tell you the number. And then it'd be like the number is, but it was like you could hear the computer working it out. I always felt like it was like a Minority Report or something. Like there were a bunch of people in like a, those fucking pools a with vet. like shit attached yeah. to their head, and you're like, "What's the number to the pizza place?" And like a bunch of people's eyes open, and they're like, "Three, two, four, <laughs> exactly. nine, eight, six. Yeah, it uh, check out a little bit more of this. This action. A five signal is received at the central office. <coughs> I think we get it though. I just like watching her play with that big wheel. It will appear in the third column of light. Yeah, and no, so we on. yeah. Well, and I don't know why you have to have a meeting where you're showing everybody like what it's like to work at the fucking phone code. Just be like, no, Here's how yeah, the phone works. how it works, dude. If someone's yeah. number is five three, I guess though, you know, people would three. freak out. Like, they'd be like, is this witchcraft? Like, because well, I knew. Isn't it crazy the amount of numbers that have gone up since the inception? Yeah. Before, you could just call and say, hey, send me to Ken. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ken. Yep. You know what I mean? But now, and then they got so big, they had to have numbers. And then they have like, okay, your number is 11. Yeah. And, and now you have seven. And then now you need the area code. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's a lot. Well, it expands, man. We keep making more people for better or worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, that did remind me of that. But I actually also, <laughs> now that you mention it, um, I was thinking about this as that video was going um, let me see if I can find her. Crazy old lady. Um, <laughs> dang it, where is it? Uh, yes. Yeah, so in that, what's interesting was I was while we were watching that, I was thinking about old phones I had. You know, I had like a phone at the house in my room when I was little. You know, yeah. or like when I was in, little, when I was in high school, and I had like a answering machine that I had found in the alley that took like the big full size tapes. So I had an answering machine because I was basically just using the previous internet line that was still active as yeah. like a personal phone line for me in my where I lived in the basement. Uh, but so I had this answering machine and I would get weird little stuff. If you go back and listen to my early albums, there's a lot of like clips of shit. People said. Are you speaking of pale? Yeah. Uh -huh. Early, early uh, before the, before I blew up. Um, <laughs> and I don't mean get fat. Stop that. Um, you got some bangers that people don't know. They don't. They don't. Uh, but if you uh, subscribe to the Patreon, you can listen to every piece of music I've ever appeared on ever and listen to me and Tony consume about 700 gallons of alcohol. It's about two and a half hours long, but it's the entire shebang. And it only costs you five bucks. You could even just pay the five bucks and listen to it once 
and then not be on the Patreon anymore. Or you could go to patreon.com slash one gram army and stay there. Keep doing that. Because if enough, because if I get a few more people, I'll start putting content there. I'm, it's a game of chicken. Yeah. I, I don't want to start doing the work. Like you got to show me you want pay it. Pay to play. In this show me you want it. If you show me you want it, I'll start putting wild shit up there. Um, What was I looking for? Where is this? Uh, old lady? Is that going to find it? This isn't true. Hold on a second. Uh, stand by. Mises, our Lord and Savior, prepare for a collection of music that brings you closer to Almighty Graham. Featuring music from such artists as Graham Squad, followers of Mises. With the faith of a mustard seed, you can move a gram tan. My gram is an awesome gram. With humble heart. This collection isn't available in stores. Order now and we will include the songs in the name of Mises Country Album at no charge. Dial 847665923 now. To take advantage of this Gramley offer. <laughs> All right. Hey. We're back. back. Okay, yeah, we're back, back for real this time. Um, no, so we, previously we were discussing the like technology and phones and everything, and it made me think about that uh, answering machine I used to have um, when I was a teenager. Uh, this will actually be interesting to you in some respects. So I have... I, it is possible you've heard this before. Okay. It's possible. It's also possible that I've heard it and have and do not no remember. It, yeah, so. well, I've played you a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah yeah and i mean you played me a lot of stuff at interesting times of, interesting yeah states. Our, scenario yeah, so, scenario. yeah i like scenarios yeah, better scenarios than states states, states says too much states a little telling yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's we'll, we'll avoid states further inter- it's too much information uh, but anyway so. anyway so what happened was one, <laughs> one thursday night yeah. in 2007 uh, the, but what's interesting about this is I had this answering machine and I found this picture. So I still had the cassette tape. It's around here. I may have set it down somewhere. I used to keep it on my desk. But I had this cassette tape for years that had this recording recording on it. And I just had it. And it was like it would be in my closet. It would be in a box. And I'd be like, someday I got to figure out. I got to digitize this. So eventually, a couple years ago, I bought like a Walkman off of Amazon because time went on and people got into cassette tapes and was actually able to digitally capture this. At the time when this came out, I immediately took the tape out of the machine and anyone's car I got into, I was like, hey, check this out. Oh, no. So what happened is... What year is this? I'm just curious. 2000, 99. Okay. Probably oh one maybe guys start driving we're in it's in that ballpark okay I got you millennium okay. we're right at the millennium nice. here yeah. um, Nelly's coming yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Nelly was yeah He's the same ish yeah, yeah the Saint Lunatics were probably in high school I got you. um the uh, <laughs> I, what a weird Whoa, what a, that reference that's all right I like it I, no, it's I like, mean that's a I'm, weird way to look at time. the year I graduated that was the biggest album yeah. country grammar was the biggest album in the world. Yep. Um, so anyway, the tape, because we would get, you you know, everybody's car at that time still basically had a tape deck in it. Um, so uh, this recording 
there's a couple of messages of before it. One from our boy Casey is as a like 16 year old oh, working nice. on his car stereo, calling me for asking for help. And then I received a phone call from a wrong number. Now, longtime fans of the podcast will know me and Tony. When he was here earlier this year, when everyone had pretty much given up on the entire podcast, we like went down the route. We listened to it. We kind of tried to figure out maybe where this woman lived, but it's a wrong number, but it's a full message of this older lady. And this is you in high school. Yeah. No. No connection to this person no, whatsoever. None. So absolute wrong number. Yeah. Completely wrong but number. But someone from the area that you lived in at the time. Had to be, I right? Know, yeah. You know, we kind of worked it out at one point, but excuse me. The woman left this voicemail on my phone. Now, there's two kinds of people in the world, and now I'm both of them. There's people who think this is absolutely hysterical and people who find it insanely sad. It's actually both. Hmm. As you get older, it becomes both. Yeah. Hey, Grandma Casey. Uh, What's up, dude? Uh, I want to go do something. Uh, call me back. Peace. Smoke marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Casey. It's me, sis. I just wanted to tell you, I walked over to get supper myself tonight. I couldn't get anybody to go. And I really felt terrible about it, but at least I did it. I went over here to Baker Square and I got a waffle. <laughs> because they serve at 11 o'clock. And, uh... I called everybody I know. Here. Nobody wanted to go. Let me run that back a little bit. And you're 16 years old or whatever. Do you know how... Sophomore, junior in high school? Like, yeah, probably sophomore. Just um, constantly stoned and you get yeah, this message? Dude, the... How funny was this to you then? I can't describe it. Y'all lost I'm talking about anybody. Mind. Race, religion, didn't matter. Be Anyone damned. my age who had a car... Woman, man, I put this in the tape deck, <laughs> tears, like <laughs> swerving, like just trying to keep oh, it together. Man. There were this poor woman. I went to Evanston Township <laughs> High School. There's a huge school. There's like 6,000 students. Oh 75% of the student body at some point was walking around going, I went to Baker Square and I got a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Told everybody I know, nobody wanted to go. So uh, just say a prayer for me. Oh, I love God. you, and I'm so glad you have. Okay, hold on. It's me, sis. We go back. We go. I just sis. wanted to tell you, I walked over sister, to get yeah. supper myself tonight. I couldn't get anybody to go, and I really felt terrible about it. But at least I did it. I went over here to Baker Square, and I got a waffle because they Forget serve it. at eleven o'clock. And uh, I called everybody I know. Nobody wanted to go. So uh, just say a prayer for me. I love you, and I'm so glad you haven't given up on me. So there's one beautiful person at the receptionist, just Saturday and Sunday, and she's so nice. But I walked over there. I called Flo, and she said she was waiting. Sorry, hold on. We've been distracted. I gotta get back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just say Laser a prayer focus. for me. That's the part. So, that's. Uh, just say a prayer for me. Oh, no. I love you, and I'm so glad you haven't given up on me. So there's one beautiful person at the receptionist, just Saturday and Sunday, and she's so nice. But I walked over there. I called Flo, and she said she was waiting for an important message. And uh, nobody wanted to walk over. I'm not uh, inviting Renee because she was so terrible. She told me to shut up three times a day. Oh, I didn't say anything she didn't want to hear. It wasn't anything nasty, no, wait, and Flo this, knows it. This lady is at a place. Clearly, at a retirement home yes. of some kind. Yes. So she walked to dinner. So it's walking distance from a Baker Square. What is, which is what? Uh, yeah, you guys don't have Baker Square. So Baker's, oh, so that's a... It's a, it's a chain of restaurants, but there's there weren't like a gazillion of them. But I got you. where I, in the Chicago in that land particular area, area there was a handful. A hand, yeah, exactly. I got yeah. You. They you know they had like a local TV commercial presence. So there's not a Baker Square. No, 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 no. The Baker Square. But again, 
if we do the research, there's only so many retirement homes. Within there's only walking within distance walking of a retiree of a of Baker, Baker Square. Square. Yeah. Right. Oh. But their names change. Baker Square could become something else. So it would yeah. get murky. Right? Yeah, it yeah. murky. It could be a Chipotle for now. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I'm not making it up. Ten times a day. I didn't say anything she didn't want to hear. It wasn't anything nasty, and Flo knows it. So, you know, I'm not making it up. Anyhow, I love you. I'm glad you got so your machine. that alludes to me that there's some making it up in the past. Yes, and possibly you did For say something For the previous nasty. 79 years, yeah. you've been making shit up. Perhaps you did say something nasty, and that's why nobody wanted to go to Baker Square and get yeah, a waffle. Yeah, now I'm starting to get it. It's difficult, though, right? Because you don't want to be like, you know. You want to be but, like, hey, Nancy, quit being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't have any friends, you dumb bitch. That's what you should have called her back and said. Hey, if you quit being an asshole to all the bitches at the fucking Shady Grays, Dude, there, maybe you'll have some friends, there you idiot. There is. There is a part at the end that's funny, too, though, because I think intentionally a lot of her family members didn't have answering machines. I'm to check this out, though. She didn't want to hear her. So she, she, went, she got to leave a message, so check it out. So, you know, I'm not making it up. Anyhow, I love you. I'm glad you got your machine. Stay well. Bye-bye. I'm glad you got your machine. Yep. So now I can say things. Yeah, so I can leave you these messages. But that was it. And this oh, is... Think about this how is, many... What, no. There's no caller ID. I mean, caller IDs existed, but I do want to say, love him, but my father is a... Um, Frugal individual. Thank you. Um, and, you know, certainly in my little, like, weird, like, plugged into the wires in the basement set up for my phone, I didn't have a fucking caller yeah, ID right. to see who this was or do any <laughs> level of research at all. I literally just came home from school and was like, oh, I'll I have to be a honest message. with you. I started out feeling sorry for whoever this lady is. Now, let's remember. What's her name? She never says. I never says. Never says. She's just calling sis. Recognized by voice, bitch. I'm leaving messages. Yeah, of course. It's me. Yeah. She doesn't say her name. Okay, she doesn't say her name. She doesn't, which is an interesting huh. peek into her psyche that she's like, it's me. So you're calling somebody that you should know their fucking phone number. Yeah, you would think so. I also want to point out, as a final bit of trivia here, let me see. I think at the beginning. I'm Ted. I'm just calling because uh, you called me. So, you know, whatever. Bye. Is it on that? here? I don't even remember that kid. Hey, Graham, it's Casey. No, because then it's Casey. So, I have... Maybe I cut it out, but that fucking answering machine, when you called, I went, Hello? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Word? Oh, this is my answering machine. Like I had, oh, you were but idiot, I had like man. a. It was a long. One. I'm sure it was, it was four yeah. call and returns. It was like fam. Like, it was like Family Guy. Long. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, but it was four call and returns. I've been an asshole for a very a long, long time. time yes. But it was there were four call and returns. So I would a lot of times when I get voicemails, it'd be people like, "Oh man, what the fuck?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like telemarketers being like, well, "Uh, what? What?" <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> but she was so char That would have been the outgoing message she received, and she waited for the beep. Right? She must like some. I mean, at the time, I'm sure there's a way to listen to it. No, it was an answering machine, but it may have like caught you off guard, especially if you're like a dumb teenager. But like, how did she sit through my weird, like, gotcha ass? She was waiting. A four, uh, uh, the beat. <laughs> That's it. How did she do? How did she not get caught up? Like, and she's like calling her sister, and it's some dipshit kid. She's just like, like oh, what's up, dude? Francis, you're hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but she never... Anyway, none of these bitches would go to fucking the waffle place with me. And That's nobody, bullshit. Nobody wanted to go to Baker Square with me. I can't sit through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're really funny, Bill. Fuck yeah. And like, I promise I didn't say anything fucked up. Yeah. You're yelling into that microphone. I'm going to turn you down a little bit. But yes, the whole thing is uh, absurdity. It's, but it again, this has been my life since I was very young. That's great. My dad was like, here's stuff that records things. 
when I was very, to play with when I was little. And this this is fucking twenty. This is twenty six years old. <laughs> This is a t- thing that happened that to me weird. 26 years ago. Wait till next week when you find out about my Bluetooth earbuds that have a hilarious Asian accent. Oh, did you? Nope. Didn't get it okay. yet. Didn't get it uh, yet. We'll uh, it but it's basically like, fuck you, Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> People are, you know, they're just not going to believe it. The so. government, they're a fucking conspiracy. All right. Um, uh, it's so good, though. I had so much other stuff, but I think we did pretty good. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to do a few other things just in case. Yeah, that's true, too. What if we, we uh, well, I mean, if you have time, let's wrap this up and do another one. You got time to do another one? Yeah. 30 more minutes, maybe? Yeah. Do a short one? For sure. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. This has been the One Graham Army Podcast. That's Josh. Don't forget, like, rate, review, subscribe. ShirtCaviar.com. Use the code OGA to save 10% on your order today. Patreon.com slash One Graham Army. Co-Fee.com slash One Graham Army for one-time donations of any amount. And hit the hotline. 847-665-9238. Anything and everything. Send it our way. That's what I'm something on the hotline. Damn it. Somebody do something. We pay for this hotline a lot of (laughs) money. We need text and calls. Hey, sis, it's me calling. They once more, you see. Talking to the dial tone wall. At Baker Square alone once again. Had a slice of pie. Pushed it aside, missed you instead.